Jesus Christ began his uh, ministerial life when he was 33 years old. And he began to uh, uh, proclaim the gospel of Christ and went to different villages to cure people and proclaim the kingdom of God is at hand. In today's gospel, uh, the Lord uh, uses us parables to explain the meaning of the kingdom of God. And he uses the uh, smallest seed of the master seed. It's so small, but when it grows, very much fruit. In order to bear much fruit, we had to water that seed in order to produce uh, to produce uh, fruits, and it made that that, that little mustard seed to uh, really uh, be alive. The same thing in our faith. The Lord wants to plant the seed of faith, love, and kindness into our hearts. We are the ones who receive that little master seed in our hearts. The question is, when the Lord wants to plant that seed in our lives, are we able to receive it? How do you respond to that? But there is talking to, to us about this. He wants all of us as a church to be part of the kingdom and be our workers for his kingdom. In order to see that work, we had to allow Christ, who is the sower, to make that little seed to bear fruits in our lives. That whatever we do, we testify that the kingdom of God is in you, is in the other person, is in my family, in my friends, in my co-workers, is in my church and my neighbors, and my country, that we all together, with that little seed be planted by Jesus Christ, may bear fruits, or may be not. The answer to that is given in the second reading to Paul, to, to the Corinthians. He said to us, My dear brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are here at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, but we walk by faith, not by sight. He gave us the answer, is to walk in my faith, that we may this little master seed to grow in our lives. But what does that mean for us? To walk by faith? What does that mean to you? To walk by faith. How many times we recognize in our lives that we walk by faith, not by sight? How many times we recognize that God wants to plant a seed or master seed in our lives and our hearts to bear fruits? And how we cultivate that master seed to grow every single day? We know that through our life, through our prayer life, we can cultivate our master seed to the sacraments, like the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, the sacrament of confession. But the most important thing is to allow the master seed to grow in our hearts and allow Christ to, to do that in us. Because if we don't do that, it's very hard sometimes in our lives to really recognize what kind of fruit we are cultivating in our lives. What kind of fruit we want to, to taste, to produce in our lives. And sometimes we do good things, that's wonderful, that's great. But sometimes we recognize that we made also mistakes, or, may, or we are, yes, we made mistakes and we are not perfect. But this is the good news. But the Lord wants to remind us that without Him, we cannot bear fruits. Without Him, we cannot really see goodness, kindness, love in our hearts. That is the reason the Lord uh, stays in the sacraments and celebrates with us every Sunday, every Sunday, this Holy Eucharist. That's exactly what happened in the Holy Eucharist. We came before the Holy the altar because our hearts and our lives are thirsty for that spiritual food, 
that help us to this little master seed that we have in our case of faith grow every single day. And to that communion with Christ that we receive in the Holy Eucharist, the Lord is coming to you to allow you to bear fruit that is pleasing to Him. What kind of fruit? You might know that. How to be a better person. How to be a better husband. How to be a better wife. How to be a better priest. And those fruits are love, patience, kindness, compassion, tolerance, forgiveness, kindness, and love. We cannot give what we don't have. That's what Paul said. We walk by faith that even in the middle of those circumstances, we put our trust in Jesus Christ and allow Christ to help us to grow and raise up to him and say, Lord, here I am. You know what is in my heart. You know how difficult it is for me to follow you and to love you. You know that sometimes I make my mistakes. I have my own personality, my own weaknesses, my own struggles, but I come to you because you are the only one who can plant a seed of love, mercy, and kindness in my heart. That's what happened in the Holy Eucharist. That exactly what happens. Christ came to you in that holiness presence to you. That you receive it and you say yes when the priest said to you the body of Christ. What do those words mean to you? The body of Christ. What happened in this moment when you see the body of Christ? A transformation occurs. Because Christ is coming to you to satisfy our hunger, to purify our thoughts and our lights and make us to be one with Him. This is who we are. We are God's people. We are members of St. Francis of Assisi. And we walk by faith. Even in the middle of those situations, in the middle of trials, in the middle of difficulties, our faith in Christ helps us to conquer those situations and see the victory and the hope and joy in His name. We know that we had our own challenges, yes, I do too. Our own struggles every day, but we are not alone. Christ is there for us, to help us, to sustain us, and give us life in His name. That's what the Paul wants to refer. We walk by faith, not by, not by sight. And let us pray together for that. Let us pray together for, for the church. That we, as a church members, we unite our hearts and our minds and also our prayers to Him. That He listen to it and help us to grow in holiness. Help us to bear fruits that are pleasing to Him. We need that every single day. In fact, I cannot be a priest if I don't have Jesus Christ to help me how to be a priest. The same thing with you. You cannot be a husband, you cannot be a wife, you cannot be a teenager. We cannot be a community if Christ is not the center of our faith and our lives. And challenge us. Because sometimes we are not there yet. So the Lord said in the Gospel, He used these, these uh, parables to explain to us the meaning of the Kingdom of God. You already received it when you were baptized, and be confirmed, and be married in the Church. But we had to grow in holiness, and to pray every single day, because every day we had our own, you know, that's a lot of things going on. Temptations, uh, evil forces, darkness, all those things. But those who conquer that is those who believe in Jesus Christ and walk by faith, not by sight. And I encourage you, as you come to receive the Holy Eucharist in a minute, whatever you want, whatever kind of fruit you want to bear in your life, 
Ask Jesus Christ when you receive the Holy Communion. Ask, be honest, be sincere. He's there for you. He's alive. He wants to bring to your life many, many blessings to you. But allow Christ to do so. Do not be afraid to open ourselves to Him. He knows everything. He knows what is in our hearts. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our limitations. He knows our sinfulness. But He cannot do anything unless we accept Him. This Gospel and this reading help us to really focus in Christ and recognize that we are Christ's followers. We are the disciples. That whatever you are in life, as a married couple, as a family, as a, as a teenager, as a priest, you are called by Christ to bear fruit. Whatever you are, always walk by faith and imitate Christ in everything.